All right, legends, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Okay, so in the last video, we added enough spring water to complete our five gallon quantity. This video, we're going to be testing our OG or original gravity using our hydrometer. This is 50% of the process to determine our or your alcohol by volume, your ABV. We will go further into this formula once we test our FG or final gravity after we add the yeast and let our beer ferment for two weeks, but that's a couple of videos away. Okay, so now that we've poured the spring water into our carboy and we shook it up, we actually need to get some of the wort out now. So the best way to do this is putting the bigger part of the auto siphon into the carboy. Just make sure the auto siphon is sanitized. Now you can drop the hydrometer in here, but it might be messy because it's gonna leak if you don't hold the plug or if you don't plug it with your finger at that hole at the bottom the auto siphon has a hole at the bottom it's going to drip out most of the time i just pour the wort in the auto siphon and then i pour it into a container that my thermometer came in yes you you can buy a hydrama hydrometer jar for ten dollars but i'd rather save the ten dollars and just use the stuff that i already have a little bit about a hydrometer what is it? Well, a hydrometer is an instrument that measures the density or thickness of liquids relative to the density of water. So you try it out, pour tap water into it. It's going to equal 1.00 and make sure you have enough liquid in there. So it's floating. That's very important. If it's not floating, then it's going to be completely inaccurate. Now there are, might be a couple of meters on your hydrometer. I have three, including the two that measure bricks and the other that measure potential alcohol by volume, but don't use those. They are less accurate. Use the measurement with the 1.00 at the top of the readings, and it goes into the thousandths column. For example, if your read's 42, then it's 1.042, which is exactly the OG that we are going after. And don't worry if yours reads somewhere from 39 to 45. The more you brew, the more consistent your brew will get. And so take the measurement and it might be kind of hard to read because of the bubbles. So just take your time. I had to bring mine outside to shoot it. So the color will look a little bit lighter, but it's don't worry about my color looking a little bit lighter and I'm aiming for like a, okay. So it's like 42.5. So I'm just going to roll with 42. I mean, 1.042. Record that number and write it down somewhere. Okay, so last but not least, and this is by far the most important part of the process, is to throw your test wart away. Do not pour it back into the carboy. Losing five to eight ounces of wart is a very small price to pay in regards to retaining your sanitized wart and sanitized carboy, as well as giving you a solid peace of mind. Okay, so in the next video, we're gonna add our yeast and then we're gonna airlock our beer. All right, guys, and congratulations. We are almost there.